Hey y'all and welcome to the video for this one. It's three year update video for three years of ownership of my 2009 Dodge Ram 2500. How's the truck been? Has there been any incidents or repairs in year three? Uh, what kind of condition is the overall truck in? Uh, it's a 12 year old truck now. Um, the basic rundown is that this is a quad cab long bed, four wheel drive, six, seven Cummins under the hood, six speed manual, Laramie trim package. Let's take a look at our miles real quick. For the year, 7,200 miles driven. Total miles, 263K. And while this was my lowest mileage year yet, it was not my lowest as a total percent. I think the truck accounted for about 35% of my miles this year, which was up from like 25% last year. Complaints. Uh, Maintenance, uh, not maintenance, repairs, I mean. Losing some brake fluid out of our clutch reservoir. Having to top it off every three to four months. That's fine, minor inconvenience, but if you're not paying attention, your clutch pedal may get spongy. Um, just doing that to hold off till I get a new clutch set up, which is in the works, hopefully, later this year. Then we got our little coolant elbow that one that leaked then I replaced it then my replacement one either wasn't on right or was defective and blew off causing a bit of a roadside incident then I replaced it with another identical one and this one's hanging in there for me so as long as that holds up I'm okay with it but if I have an issue with this one I think I'm gonna get a 90 degree coolant line go straight back to the heater core. I think it's like a 5 eighths line or something like that. And uh, you can get one with a 90 from Gates. So that's what I'll do if I have that problem again. Uh, final incident is this rear window. So I'm being careful here because there's a fire ant's nest right, in the, right next to me here. I stepped in it earlier. <laughs> um, this switch did not lower this window the other day so i came back here and this switch did the only problem is this switch did not put it back up so i had to take the door panel off take the motor out manually push it up have my buddy hold it in the top position put the motor back in i did diagnose that it's not the switch i plugged the switch from that door into here did the same thing took the motor out let the motor run it ran with the down, did not respond to the up. So I think it's a motor issue in that case. And I have a feeling that it's been like that since the uh, dealer had it. I have a feeling that they came in here. If I take this off, I wonder if I'll find that they snipped something or something like that. And that was their cheap fix. I would not be surprised. But with that said, those are my only complaints a truck has been running and driving great. I will show a little startup and the engine running later on here. Uh, let's take a look at the um, overall condition of the truck now. The paint is in great shape. The truck really could use a wash, but the paint is holding up quite well. Only complaint with the paint, I don't know if you can see it there, is there's one clear coat spot up by the cab lights there that... Is the only sign of damage to the paint besides a few chips and scratches which is normal for this truck's age and mileage but the paint when it's clean it just looks really good i mean it looks good now even uh, i like the look of this truck with its chrome wheels chrome trim one thing that's missing on the laramie truck is no chrome door handles i think that's either a mistake or maybe the prior owner didn't like the chrome uh covers and took them off Another thing to note, no rust. So Louisiana truck and no rear fender rust, which is real common on third gens. And usually you'll feel it starting on the inside if, it, if it's gonna start. I'm not feeling anything in there. Line X bed liner holding up great. Gooseneck hitch. Another, another one. No rust. Really happy there. 
Let's take a look at the interior. Interior is in great shape. The, uh, I have a feeling that this cushion was replaced. It's actually nicer than the passenger side is, or perhaps they switched the passenger side cushion to the driver's side. That's another possibility. But this one with how um, firm this cushion is, this reminds me of the one you would get from Gino's garage. Leather interior, heated seats. Everything's working over here. AC and heat works, the blend doors work great. Factory radio works. Four-wheel drive. Only thing it doesn't work is the driver's heated seat, which I have a feeling that they unplugged the heating element or removed it with the old cushion when they replaced the cushion. Um, my guess is if I was to take this cover off, that I would find that the heating element is missing or not plugged in, but probably missing. And in South Louisiana, I don't think the guy had... Um, too high priority with the heated seats. What else do we got? Interior's in great shape. Exterior's in great shape. This truck's pretty well preserved, very clean. Third gen. Oh, one other thing we did this last year. New steering linkage. Just kind of preventative. It wasn't really a repair. It was more of a maintenance, but but really, I, I guess front end work to me is is actually more of a repair. I went with the Mopar T style linkage that that we had before. This will last for years to come. Now one one final note or blemish on this truck. No uh, front license plate. I actually hit a deer with this truck and this is all that happened. It knocked the front license plate off, put this little crack in the bumper and that's it. I was actually really surprised with how little damage there was after hitting that deer. Besides that, let's um, hop in the truck. We'll fire it up, show the engine, do a little blow by test. All right. There we go. Our low fuel light is definitely on, and I'm in for some pain at the pump later today. Runs great though. That's it for the year. See you in the next video.